Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Stokes. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today I want to talk about an interesting topic. It's called methylation and specifically I want to talk about the MTHFR gene mutation. This video came about because a viewer asked me if I would uh, do a video on it and I thought, yeah, I'll do a deep dive on that. I knew a little bit about it, but I decided to go and I went to 23andMe and I got my genes tested. I had my profile, my raw data profile done and I uploaded that into chat, chat GPT asked it to analyze my genes, and to my surprise, I found out that <laughs> I had both genetic mutations. So I have the C677T and the A1298C mutation. This is called a homozygous mutation, and it's not good, right? It's one of the worst you can have, and I've got both of them. 40% of the population has this, which is mind-blowing to think that there's a lot of people out there that have this problem and may not know about it. And if, if you're suffering from things like anxiety, fatigue, hormone imbalances, inflammation, this could be a problem that you're not aware of. So methylation is very important, first and foremost. It's a natural process in your body. And um, it, it's important because it helps turn your genes on and off. It helps detoxify harmful substances. It helps with uh, hormone regulation. It helps with inflammation. It helps your body build healthy cells, right? It's like software that tells your body how to run efficiently. And so if that methylation process is not working properly, we can get all sorts of problems, right? We get a high, we become at a higher risk for things like cancer, uh, cardiovascular disease, mood disorders, anxiety, depression, just about everything. And 40% of the population have this and as I mentioned I carry both mutations <laughs> lucky me and so I'm this is not just professional right this is a personal video uh, because I have some I have some skin in the game as they say <laughs> um, but the good news is this if you have these mutations all is not lost the solution is pretty easy and the great news is is that if you have this mutation you just opened up an entire doorway of potentially dramatic health changes in your body, right? If you balance the system, then you can potentially get rid of a lot of problems that have been hanging around. And that's what I want you to, to focus on here. I don't want you to think about trying to fix something. I want to think about balancing the system. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to add back in the items that are missing so that the body can do what it's supposed to do. We're gonna restore the body to its natural state and we're gonna reap all the benefits of wellness and longevity as a result of that. And that's how I really want you to think about this mutation if you suffer from it, um, like I do, right? So one of the biggest problems with these mutations is your body's inability to process folic acid. And synthetic folic acid is everywhere. It's everywhere. So it's in all the enriched, modified foods that we could eat, even the foods that are supposedly healthy. If it says on the label enriched, if it says that it has folic acid, then that's something you need to avoid because you can't process that. When you intake that folic acid into your body, it gums up and it blocks receptors from doing their work and it creates all these health problems. So first and foremost, if we have these mutations, just avoid folic synthetic folic acid you have to totally avoid it now remember you're missing key elements right you're not able to get the benefits of folic acid so we have to take uh, a natural form of that in our systems it's called methyl folate l5 uh, mthf is another way of uh, another way of labeling it we definitely want to take in this methyl folate i'm going to put on the screen, all the products that I recommend you take at the end if you want a shopping list. But number one, we want to we want to take in the methylfolate. We also want to take in some methylated B12. And we also need some B6. So these these three supplements are the trifecta, right? They're the triad of of restoring our natural base. We want to take these every day. This is not uh, something you can compromise. This is. This is not something you can debate. If you have this condition, you take these three supplements and it improves your health, period. Now, remember, uh, remember that you have not been 
uh, detoxifying properly for quite some time, maybe for your entire life. If you all of a sudden restore those pathways with, with these three supplements and you do it rapidly, right? Now you've gone from undermethylation to overmethylation overnight. Those pathways get activated. Everything gets turned on and gets hyper. And if you're a sensitive individual like I am, you could get some negative health uh, effects, even though you're restoring balance. I hope that makes sense. And so if you get too much uh, methylfolate, you can produce too much dopamine and norepinephrine. And this can lead to things like heart palpitations, agitation, racing thoughts. And I certainly had that encounter when I found out that I had the mutation. I just started taking like 10,000 micrograms of methylfolate. I thought I'm going to knock this out of the park. And like within Literally within a day, I was suffering from all those side effects. Also, as you as you open those pathways, you could over detox, right? Remember, you haven't detoxed properly for your entire life. All of a sudden, you start to detox. This can cause mobilization of toxins and emotions, and it creates irritability, fatigue, and these anxiety spikes. I got those as well. I became... Uh, someone that was difficult to live with, right? And I had all these anxiety spikes because my body was all of a sudden over detoxifying and all these toxins were getting moved around in my system and it created a challenge for me. Also, you can stimulate the excitatory neurotransmitters like glutamate. This can cause feelings um, of being, the best way to put it is you feel wired but tired. I also suffered sensitivity to sound, light, people became an irritation for me. And again, I was, I was overstimulating those pathways by trying to do too much of the right thing. So you have to go uh, low and, and go slow when you're dealing with this. Do not just jam all of those nutrients into your body. If you do and you're sensitive, you're going to suffer. So again, we go low and we go slow when we're doing this. And I'm going to put that up on the screen as far as the doses that I recommend. Also, if you can if you can get an infrared sauna, it's great. So infrared sauna is going to help as well. Also, some support for the liver because remember, the liver is going to do most of the detoxifying. So things like milk thistle can really help in the process, especially in the beginning when you start to really open up these pathways. Also, stay hydrated. Just simple things like hydration can help a great deal. Make sure you're getting enough fluids as you go through the initial maybe five to 10 days of opening up those pathways. Now, one product that I, I, I really recommend you take is called Methyl Protect. It's by Zymogen, a great company here in Florida. The reason I like Methyl Protect is that they have um, the methylfolate, the B6, and the B12 all ready to go in one capsule. So you take one of those a day. I find that that works pretty good. And as far as the negative effects of opening up those pathways too quickly, what Zymogen Labs has done is they've also included a product called trimethylglycine uh, in the capsule. And glycine is an important thing if you're suffering from a lot of these side effects of turning on those pathways, glycine really calms everything down. And this product, Methyl Protect, it has the trimethylglycine in the capsule as well. So I recommend that you just start with that. You take one of those a day and that covers your base. Now, you can also add in liver support and other things if you're interested. But if you have these mutations, if you're having a problem with methylation, just take one Methyl Protect every day and pretty rapidly, within a few days, you're going to feel better. And you may start noticing little things like, you know, that knee pain you've had for years and years that won't go away or that little achy back you get whenever you walk too much. Suddenly, in a very short period of time, you may notice those things just don't exist anymore. They just go away. And that's what I'm finding uh, as I treat these genetic mutations, as I not try to fix, but as I balance my system. I hope this was important information for you. I hope that you um, have hope and you don't feel broken if you suffer from these mutations. And I hope that you really think of it as a doorway that's going to open up all this incredible potential for your health. You're going to restore your body to the way it's supposed to be. 
and then it's going to do what it's supposed to do and you're going to reap the benefits in wellness and longevity. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I do appreciate it. You can get more information on my website, drstephenstokes.com, where you can get free copies of my books. And you can also uh, buy supplements and products with discount codes. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.